Hi, my name is Ernie Crown, and I'd like to share a story with you, which begins several years ago, and I found myself in hospital having had a stroke. Um, intuitively, I knew that Rose, my wife, would be praying for me. I knew that the guys from my men's group would be praying for me, and that did give me, that did give me some confidence. In addition, I know that, well, Pastor Warren had been in and uh, had came in and prayed for me, so that also did give me some confidence as well. But still, as I laid there in hospital, in the hospital bed, looking up at the ceiling, it was dark. I was really quite fearful at this point. I knew that the stroke had impacted my left side and what I didn't know was how badly had it affected my left side. Would I be able to move my left arm? Would I be able to even walk again? It was something that I was thinking about and was really concerned about. In addition, my mother had had a stroke when she was younger. And as a result of the stroke, she was unable to speak. And I'm thinking, am I going to lose my speech? She never did regain her speech. And I know how difficult it was for her and how frustrating it was for her to express herself. And I'm thinking to myself, am I going to have to go through that? I know how hard it was for her, all the speech therapists and all the, the coaching and all the work she was trying to do to be able to speak again. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I can go through all that. Am I going to speak again? So all these things are kind of weighing heavily on my mind at that time. Prior to the stroke, just a couple days before the event, um, at a Sunday morning church service, Rachel and the music team sang a song, Jesus, You Are My Rescue. And if I needed rescuing at that time, it was, if I needed rescuing, it was really at that particular time. The song just came up from, when my, from within my inner being, it wasn't in my head, it was really from deep within my spirit. And when those words and that music started to hit me, it was like a miracle. It was like, I'm being rescued. I could almost hear God's voice saying to me, I am your rescue. And he was. At that time, I suddenly I had confidence, I had hope, I had everything that I kind of needed right then and there. Jesus, you are my rescue. And that was such a powerful force to me at that time, that music that was just flooding through my spirit. Jesus, you are my rescue. And uh, it just goes to show to me how powerful music can be. It's a powerful force. I think what I'd like to say is when you're leading worship on a Sunday morning, it's not just the songs you're singing that have an impact at that particular time, although I'm sure that uh, our Heavenly Father loves what He's hearing, but for us sitting in the congregation, the troops out there, we're taking all this stuff on board and it does have an impact later. In my case, I was, I can say firsthand that the music that I'd heard two days previously really pulled me through a very difficult time further down the track. So. Uh, Music has an ongoing, long-lasting effect. Take it from one who knows. <laughs> I was really afraid I'd never walk again. I was afraid I might not ever be able to speak sensibly again. But here I am talking now. Um, but Jesus really is my rescue. Jesus, you are my rescue.